In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint Thamirs, which are swamp monsters, for Warhammer or D&D. The first step will always be priming, which was covered previously. Use whatever primer color you want, but I used white. The second step is to coat the entire model with Warboss Green. Nearly the whole miniature is exposed skin, so it's easiest to paint the whole model one color and add details after. Once that dries, the whole model will be given a slightly different skin color by using Lauren Forest, and that step will also be repeated with Strachan Green. Now that the skin is nearly complete, we can move on to the detail work. The first detail is painting the horizontal belt brown with Mornfang Brown. I made sure to get it from every angle. Then, Lead Belcher was used on the axe head and the chainmail loincloth, along with one of the bangle things on his wrist. A thin brush and rhinox hide was used to paint the front and back of the vertical leather straps. The large metal shield by his abdomen needs to be painted with some kind of metallic color, like this Hashet Copper, Brass Scorpion, or Balthazar Gold. For this miniature, I decided to use the last one, and I filled in the shield. Gorthar Brown gave the axe handle some color, and Warplock Bronze was used on the other bracelet. For one of the shoulder plates, I put on some Brass Scorpion, but I made it too watery, so I put on a second layer after. I got out my lead belcher once more for each of the tiny buttons on the straps, and for the other shoulder plate. Next we are moving on to this base. I colored the whole thing black with Avedon Black, then glued some soil on top. This particular soil is a sandy clay loam, but any kind of darker soil should still have the same look. You could even paint sand brown if you want to. I also put on some of this dark green flocking to give the base the desired swamp look. After the basic material all dried, I painted the claws on both feet, as many fingernails as I could get to, and his menacing teeth. To make the ridge tail look different from the rest of the model, I put Bugman's Glow onto it. This gives it a similar appearance to a rat's tail, or makes it look scaled. The tail has spikes on it too, and they remind me of a dinosaur. They were painted with Karak stone, so that they stand out more from the other claws. The next detail is to paint the single eye. I painted it with Evil Sun Scarlet and made the pupil area Deathclaw Brown to make it stand out a little bit. Now we get on to the fun part, giving the entire model a massive wash of Agrax Earthshade to make it look really dirty. You can use Null Oil or whatever you want here, just make it look nasty. The very last step is to give the model a thick layer of some glossy clear coat to make it look slimy. And here's what your final product looks like! This was a really interesting model to paint so I hope that you enjoyed it. The next one will be a zombie for Halloween. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub because it really helps me out. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!